so for um, for number six, we want to draw these curves, find the area between them, and then revolve it this area about the y-axis. So um, let's draw this out. We'll begin by drawing LN. Now LN has a vertical asymptote at um, at zero, right? Because it can never equal to zero. Uh, so let's let's plot in some points for LN. So we know that LN one ln of zero um, ln of one sorry is zero and then ln of e is equal to one so if this is one two three so e is somewhere here uh, so then ln of e is equal to one yeah so this is what our ln curve looks like and then it grows on very very slowly from here. Yeah, so this is y is equal to ln x. And then what else do we have? We have the curve, uh, the line y is equal to 1. So let us draw this. This is our y is equal to 1. And we have the curve uh, where we, y is equal to 2. So at Two, we're maybe gonna draw it in a different color. So yeah, we have over here. This is our y is equal to two. Um, I didn't draw this green line so straight, so maybe I should improve this. Yeah. Um, so this is our area over here, right? And let's just shade it in. Uh, there should be another restriction. Oh, and there should be uh, x equals 0, yeah. So there is this other restriction over here at x equals 0. This is the line. x is equal to 0. So let's color this in. And then it wants us to uh, revolve it around the y, the y axis. So it wants us to take this area and revolve it around here. So when we revolve it around the, the y-axis, we are going to end up with, uh, with disks that go something like so. And these disks go like here. Yeah. So we're just going to um, sum up all these disks, right? All the way from y equals 1 to y is equal to 2. And we're summing up the area of these disks. Because when we think of it like stacking coins, right? When we're, we stack up these areas, we are going to have a, a volume. So, to set up our integral, we know that we're integrating from 1 to 2. Because that's where our boundaries are. It's the integral from 1 to 2 of, of our area, right? Area. Now... Let's talk about what our area is. So our area is equal to pi times r squared. Now, this radius over here, this radius is constantly changing, right? The further up I go in the y-axis, the bigger it becomes. So because it changes, um, given on how I go in the y-axis, this radius is a function of y. And also, to get a volume, we're multiplying this uh, this disk by a little dy, right? A little dy here, which means a little um, piece of the y-axis, and that's where our volume is going to come from, because we're we're summing up a, uh, our dy's. So what we have to do is we have to express everything in terms of y, because we're going upwards on the y-axis. So to express it in terms of y. Um, we are going to change this pink curve because this pink curve is the limit, is where the uh, our radius is what go is going to define our radius, right? So the up the higher up that we go, this is going to be the endpoint of our radius. Um, so, for example, if I were here, my radius would be my radius would be smaller, right? So, because it is the endpoint of our radius, we're just going to express this pink curve in terms of y. So. To express it in terms of y, we do have to isolate the x, right? So we have y is equal to ln x. So to isolate the x, I'm going to raise everything to e. So I have e, sorry, I'm going to take everything base e is equal to e 
ln x. So this cancels out on the right side. So we just have that e to the y is equal to x. So that is, this is e, e to the y is equal to x. So to find our area is just pi times r squared, where r is e to the y. So our integral is pi times e to the y squared dy, right? So when we, um, when we clean this up a little bit, we say, okay, this is the integral from 1 to 2 of pi, which is a constant. I'm putting it outside. e to the 2y dy. Uh, now we know how to integrate the um, the e functions. This is very easy using a chain rule. This is just this is equal to the uh, pi times e to the two y over two evaluated from one to two. Right. So when we evaluate our um, sorry, when we evaluate our boundaries here. This is going to be equal to pi times uh, e to the e to the four, right? E to the four over two minus e to the two over two. So our final result is pi over two times e to the four minus e to the second cubic units, since they don't give us um, any units, right? And that is the volume of when we take these disks and we sum them up, the area of these disks, and then we sum them up all the way from 1 to 2 on the y-axis.